What's up? Welcome back for another episode of The Currency Club. I'm your host, Whitney Styles, and today's special guest is a friend of mine, long-term friend of mine. Funny story, if you watched the previous episode, we met on Facebook. So Facebook and social media can turn into real-life friendships. But my special guest today is D. D Brown, aka D Forever on some socials. And she was actually the second guest I ever had on Currency Club. So two years ago, like she's the uh, Currency Club OG. Super excited to have her back here because her business has grown and expanded and I want to celebrate with her and just update the world on what's going on. So what's up, D? Hey, Whitney. Thanks so much for inviting me back to your podcast. I love the Currency Club. If you're watching right now, make sure you give this video a thumbs up before we even get started. Give us the vibes. But um, since I did the interview with you, a lot has really changed. I went from being like a solo SD to expanding my spa. So I have a full service spa now and we do have three other beauty professionals that work here with me as well. All right, so the first time Dee was here, we talked about her being an esthetician. We talked about her journey to entrepreneurship. We talked a little bit about the culture. We talked about a lot. So I need y'all to go back and watch her previous episode, episode number two, if interested, but D, you're in a salon now. When you started to wear a lash tech, I know uh, D has expanded her services because I actually went in and got a facial and it was wonderful. So if you need a facial, go ahead and tap in with her for that. But talk about the other services you offer because I'm just looking at your background and I see all kinds of equipment that wasn't even there when I went and got my, fa my facial. <laughs> so I can tell you're investing a lot in yourself and your business. Uh, remind the audience of what type of services you offer now. Yeah, so Alluring Artistry is a full service beauty and wellness spa. So we're definitely coming in with the eyelash extensions. We offer skin care services, waxing, makeup. And I don't know if I told you this yet, Whitney, but like two months ago, I was down in Atlanta and I got my micro shading certification. So we are crossing over into permanent makeup as well. So I'm, you know, I don't know if you ever noticed my brows, but these are not natural. Everybody thinks they're natural. These are micro shaded, meaning that they're tattooed on. And that's the newest service that Alluring Artistry is getting ready to launch. That is amazing. So happy for you. Congratulations on getting that new service that you can offer your folks, but also a new training, a new certification, you know, something else that's going to set you apart from the other spies and the other lash techs. Talk to me about that service. It's something I had considered doing in the past, but this was years ago. This was years ago. <laughs> and I was like, y'all, what happened if my skin started to sag and then my eyebrows are not where they're supposed to be? Please you know, you know, that. I'm dramatic. You know, I'm dramatic. <laughs> right. So yeah, talk to so, me about that service. How long does it take? How much does it cost? Like, what's the process? Yeah, so a lot of people refer to the service as microblading. Back in the day, a lot of people got microblading where they had the little pen in the ink and they would make like the hair like strokes to create the brow. Well, new age version of that is called micro shading, um, specifically called ombre powder brows. And these are basically tattooed brows where the tail of your brow is darker and then it gets lighter as it goes to the middle, similar to how all the girls love to fill in our brows with the eyebrow pencil. So this service takes about mm, probably two hours or so. Um, you come in, we map your brows for you. We, make, we measure, we use tools like calipers and we make sure that everything's symmetrical on your face. Um, you get an opportunity to approve the print before we start, but once you approve it, we get our tattoo pen. Some people use a tattoo gun. I use like a little tattoo pen that's wireless. And we go in and we start with an outline where we just go around your brow. And then after that, we go in and shade it. And it's literally the same process as shading a tattoo. We just use that same technique with inside of the perimeters that we built. It's a luxury service. So with all things in luxury beauty cost, and I would say like in my area right now, two to three, Mm, actually, three to four hundred dollars is going to be more where you can kind of find a good service for a good price. Um, but with starting off, I'm going to definitely have some introductory rates. So be on the lookout for that so you can get some brows for the low. OK, I love that. That's not a bad price point. I spent four hundred dollars on worse, like some bundles for my hair. <laughs> that I talked about in another say, episode. <laughs> any hairstyle is that off the rip. So. Might as well. And then the best part about it is that these last years, so I've had mine done for three years now. I just got them touched up. They're going to last me another three years. 
I didn't even really need to get them touched up. I'm just more of like, you know, I'm more of a bold girly. So I like them to be more prominent on my face. But if you like them natural, you could easily go longer than three years. So it's really a great investment. Um, but it is a two part session. So session one, you get the brows on, then they have to heal. And then you come back for a session two. And then that's what locks it in for years to come. All right. So yeah, that's not a bad price at all. Thank you for that level of detail. Um, did you get yours done in Atlanta or did you get yours done in Michigan? No, I actually got mine done here um, from a girl that went to Atlanta to get her certification. And so I really loved her style. So I was like looking around. It, honestly, for me, it was between like a Chicago, um, Atlanta, um, and even like West Coast, like LA, kind of like looked at those places to determine like what type of brow do I like? You have expanded your salon. You have other beauty professionals in your suite. Talk to me about them. Like what type of services do they provide? So, so I do want to give a shout out to my team. We have three people here. We have Brie, that's our makeup artist. And she specializes in like that full glam look. So if you love glitter, if you love rhinestones, if you love that clean girl aesthetic, Brie is going to be your go-to makeup artist here in Grand Rapids. We also have Jasmine here that specializes in like that men self-care phase, also prenatal care. So if you are a mama, an expecting mama, a new mama, you want to stop by and see Jasmine because she does prenatal belly facials. So she's helping relieve some of that weight from the baby bump. And then also after you have the baby, she offers vajayshals. And then last, we also have Sam here, who's our master waxer. Sam does full body waxing from the back to the chest, all the way to a Brazilian. So if you have some unwanted hair, Sam is your go-to girl. Yes, I love the variety in services. Thank you for shouting out your team and all the services that they offer. Lots of things that our Grand Rapids and nearby folks can tap into. So check them out. A whole team of beauty professionals. It's still growing too. So I'm definitely hiring. So I'm just going to do a little shameless plug, friend. Thank you. <laughs> but we are looking for a makeup artist um, and also a nail tech. So once we get those two people to join our team, we will have, we'll be fully staffed. So if you're in our area, you're looking or know someone that's looking, make sure you click the information in the description and get in touch with me. And tell a friend and tell a friend, okay? Oh, Go work right. with the All-Star team. Yes, so man. what neighborhood are you located in? What like, neighborhood is your salon in, in, so in Grand Rapids? Technically considered Cascade Township. So we're super, super east. If anyone is watching that's familiar with 28th Street, I'm still on 28th Street, just super east, a little bit past like the Walmart. If you're from around here, you know, you know. So what else is going on? Any new trainings or certifications beyond the microblading? Anything yeah. else you want to share with us? I've really been focusing on building my team. You know, I'm basically transitioning from a solo SC to a spa owner and now taking on a permanent makeup artist. So I'm just kind of in a, a real transitional phase right now and just really focusing on maintaining my brand, making sure marketing's A1, making sure I'm bringing in clients, making sure we have a good flow here. I haven't really been dabbling into new certifications. I'm kind of just taking it one step at a time. What we recently doing the micro shading cert, I definitely want to take like the first six months and dedicate all my time to that craft and make sure that I can get a produce a good service for you guys. Okay, so I'm thinking about the services you offer as an individual. And I saw on your website that you were doing like a foot detox. Is that still a thing? Is that popular? Yeah. Talk to me about yeah. that. Okay, so basically, ever since I started, I feel like I've done a lot for the beauty side of the spa, but we are a beauty and wellness spa. And so that's what the foot detox was kind of like my first step into those wellness treatments. So eventually, I hope to have a bunch of different wellness treatments, including having like a full service spa that has a sauna for you to like detox your whole body. That's kind of where I'm going with it. But the foot detox is a really cool service because most people that you meet that you ask, have you ever done a foot detox? They're going to say no. I would say like out of 10 people, maybe one or two people will say, yeah, I did that before five years ago. Um, basically, it uses like an ionic energy. If you're familiar with like the springs that people will travel to sometime to naturally detox themselves, this is like a mini version of it. It's a foot bathtub similar to like a pedicure tub. We fill it with water. I love to put a little bit of Himalayan salt, 
Um, sometimes I choose different herbs I like, but recently I've just been loving some ground up turmeric, um, putting that in there with it. And there's like a little ionic energy machine that sits in the middle of the tub that you do plug into the wall. And that's the source that kind of draws the detox from you. And it really just draws from the bottom of your foot. You literally just sit there, relax. I have a recliner for people here that do that. And the recliner has a massage in the seat. So you kind of just get to relax and let everything flow out of you. And then at the end, you get to take a look at the water. And I mean, it really does start clear. And by the end, it is dirty. A lot of people use the foot detox as an indicator. So there's like a little color chart that goes with it that, you know, if, if your water ends up green or red, you can look it up on the chart and determine, you know, what could it be a sign of. But personally, I love the foot detox. I did it my first time a few years ago, and I, I haven't stopped thinking about it. So when The last time I was in Grand Rapids, I was looking at your calendar, trying to find time to squeeze in a detox. It's on my to-do list, and I'm definitely going to do that the next time I'm in Michigan. With you, of course. I'm not going anywhere else. Sure, I can get it done in Houston, but I'm not going to these people. I'm going to support my friend. What has been your biggest challenge with all of these changes that you've made from being a solo SD to full-time salon owner? I'm going to be real transparent, and I think the biggest change is remaining a consistent person and showing up for myself every day. Most times when we think about entrepreneurship and any party like working towards a goal or working towards a dream, it's like, how bad do you want it? Because we all can lack consistency. We all can get discouraged or not be as motivated today as you were maybe yesterday, last week, last month when you had this idea or this goal or this dream. So, yeah, how bad do you want it? When I met Dee, we were both content creators, right? We were in the content creator space. Talk to me about the content that has been going up for you on the internet. Because I see you talk <laughs> about this all the time. And you're like, I, when I started out, I wanted to be this person. I was posting this. This content was not getting the engagement I wanted. But then as soon as I switched over and started posting this content, I got so much more engagement or views or whatever. So, Girl, I am the new Dr. Pimple Popper. Like, who would have <laughs> known that it was a whole market that people wanted my commentary, popping pimples and doing facials? When I started off on social media, I kind of did like a beauty lifestyle content. And I kind of just felt like it was because I was like in a unique space. I just feel like I never really reached the people I was supposed to reach when I was doing that content. And that was for a number of reasons. One, I didn't value analytics. And then I could go down the list in depth of all the other things that piled on top of that. So I was just like, man, I just know like this isn't the end of my journey. Like, what can I do? Unfortunately, we had technical issues with the audio during this portion of the interview, but the story is so good, I still wanted to share. So Dee is talking about how she recycled content from one of her extraction videos, turned it into a snippet and posted it on TikTok. That video went viral and right now it has 2.2 million views. So Dee thinks that people really appreciated the genuine interaction that she had with her client as they walked through what was happening. She also thinks that people gravitated towards that video because she was being more of herself, showing her personality, uh, providing fun commentary, and just showing more of her work in general. So she feels all of these things contributed to her growth on TikTok, growth and engagement, and you know, the viral video. All right. Thank you for sharing that. I think you highlighted a lot of important things, but also just like the need to pivot because sometimes what we want to create and push out into the world is not what they want, especially if we have a hard time finding our tribe, finding our people, right? Finding our target audience. So who would have, who would have known? Like, I trust me, like I'm thankful. So if anybody from my social media is watching, I'm so thankful for y'all, but y'all really could have Y'all could have made another video go up. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your favorite social media platform to market your business now? Is it TikTok? To market my business, I'm going to stick to Instagram. I think so many girlies are still, you know, looking up their city hashtag, put it anyway, putting make, you know, putting a lash tech behind it. I do think that we find a lot of people from Instagram, but I will say that kind of like up and coming a little bit to me is going to be TikTok. I personally don't have a um, business TikTok page. So it's just my personal that I post kind of like the bloopers because my brand's more professional, right? You look at a learning artistry, it's like a very snatched luxury brand. But on my personal page, I kind of share like that, that blooper side of things um, that you guys just don't get to see. Do you watch TV these days? What are you watching on TV? I like I'm late to it, but I just finished watching House of the Dragons. 
So as far as TV, like I will watch shows like that that have like a really in depth storyline, like a multiple seasons. But outside of shows like that, I'm not a big TV watcher. I'm definitely like a. I'll turn on like my Headspace app, listen to a little book review, or I watch, I love to watch gossip on YouTube. Like those little like 10 minute quick view videos is more what will occupy my time. So I'm not a big TV person. How about you? What are you watching? Uh, Power for sure. So oh, Power, Ghost, okay, the yeah, final episodes of that. You watch Power? Okay, yeah, I did watch Power. Yep, so that comes on Fridays. I'm definitely hit to that. But then also Reasonable Doubt. So Reasonable Doubt is a wonderful show. Might be a Hulu original. They are also on their second or third season. Whatever it is, I'm up to date. That comes on Thursdays, right? So predominantly Black cast. You know, I love to promote a show that has a predominantly Black cast. Um, Morris Chestnut is in the newer season, and he's a lawyer on there. But yeah, the whole premise of the show is like, a black lawyer named Jax. She's married. She has children. She has a career, a wonderful, you know, high profile attorney. And then her clients are a mess. She gets into <laughs> gets into some things with some clients and it's a drama for sure. Um, a little bit of crime in there as well, because, you know, she's a, a lawyer defending some people who have committed some crimes or who have been a, a, accused of committing some crimes. So it's really good. I highly recommend Reasonable That's Doubt on Hulu. So I want to talk to you a little bit about music because the last time you were a guest on the show, you gave me some good music recommendations. <laughs> summer just ended. What was like your vibe for the summer? What was your go-to song that was in heavy rotation? So I like trap music. I like ratchet music. Um, JT, Cindy Cinderella, that was in heavy rotation yeah. for me this summer. Summer walkers in rotation every summer. Um, SZA, Lakia and Cash actually have been definitely um, on the playlist. I feel like, and then they just dropped the song together. Which, like, Kia kind of reminds me of Sweetie when Sweetie did Icy Girl when she first came out and did like the Icy Girl rap. Mm -hmm. Like, Kia mm -hmm. reminds me of that, except she's staying true to that. Like, she's not finna go pop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I feel like I like that. So those two have been on my rotation for girl artists. And I've been listening to Moneybag. Okay. Dirk. Um, you got some trap music in your playlist. Okay, <laughs> I was not expecting uh, it from you. Oh my gosh, I can't forget. Obviously, I was listening to Nikki. I'm sorry, Barb. Y'all know I'm the day one Barb, so Nikki should have been the first thought on my mind. Mm -hmm. Um, but honestly, Lil Tyler, and then it's like this alternative guy that his name is Zelly Ocho. It's like one of Trippy Red's artists. I don't even know if y'all into that, but I'm definitely like a Juice World, like where hip hop meets, you know, like that alternative music all together, mm -hmm. like Lil Uzi Vert and like that type of stuff. I really like um, that type of music. So I've been into that lately. I think I'm kind of like a across the board girly when it comes to music, but rap, trap rap is definitely like my... You know, if I'm on my way to work, if I'm going to work out, if I need to get motivated, I'm listening to that. And then if I'm just trying to like chill and do something, it's more of like the girly or like lo-fi, love lo-fi. So what's next for Alluring Artistry? Yeah, we're just going to continue to grow our team and hopefully we can get that makeup artist and the nail tech in here. And then from there, I really want us to start hosting events. So I started to do some events this year by myself. Um, I don't know if anybody saw like the standing on business vision board party, but that was like a really big event that we hosted at the top of the year here. And then from there, we've kind of just like whenever holidays are here uh, pop up that we'll have events. But I'm really hoping that when we have a full service team, we can offer exclusive full service events um, so we can think more about total makeovers. Mm -hmm. um, things that people may have to go to multiple places to do, but once we get our team here, it will kind of be able to be like a one and done situation. Also, we do have a luxury lounge wear line that is in our back pocket. That's something that we've been working on for so long. And I'm just mentioning it now because we are getting close, so close to launching it. And it's my baby. I've been working on it for years and I'm really excited to bring a new line to the table that's for beauty professionals to wear to work, feel comfortable, but also cute enough for our clients to want to buy as well. 
I love that. Expanding the business to actually offer a physical product, another source of income or revenue generator for you. I love that. And then you can always be branding if your logo <laughs> is on whatever you're wearing in the salon and in the public. So that's very cool. You heard it here first. Once again, another benefit of watching the Currency Club. <laughs> do you rent out the suite right now to like different groups, bridal parties? We do get booked for like private parties if anybody wants to do like a private day with their girls um especially for weddings for um like the um, bridal party and stuff like that we do um lease out the entire suite for different events that people want to do that's definitely like more of a case by case and it's a 100 percent custom experience so we actually um take up doing the decor we work we partner with different vendors for the decor and everything so if you're just like somebody that's just walking into Oh my gosh, my friend's getting married. I have to plan this whole thing. Um, we are really, we have a really great wraparound service for hosting events here. Love that. Do you still offer classes? I want to say you were doing lash classes the last time we chatted. Yeah, so I've been doing lash classes whew, for so long now. Um, I'm still doing lash classes. I just did one two weeks ago. Um, and I'm actually doing one hosting at one of the cost schools here coming up in the next couple of weeks. So I'm definitely still charging ahead with teaching my lash classes. We do have a new beauty a new beauty series called the At Home Beauty, which is going to be like a one-on-one -on -one experience that people can book if they want to learn to specifically do something like, hey, I really love my makeup. I just hate how my brows turn out. Can we do a brow shaping, mapping, and filling class? Um, so then we're doing more custom things one-on-one -on -one with people um, so that they can have the skills to do it at home and not always feel like they have to spend so much money to to feel good and look good. Um, so that's why those classes are available for people. So with you being a beauty professional, which service is the most popular? It's going to be between eyelash extensions and facials. Those two right now are just neck at neck. At first it was lashes, like five years ago, it was just lashes. But now a lot of the girlies are just really appreciating themselves more. They want to take some time for themselves more and they want to get facials. They, they like the massage aspect. They like the fresh face. Um, they like all of the benefits that come along with it. So I would say those two right now are top dog. Uh, can you talk to the folks about what type of facials you offer? Yeah, so we have anti-aging facials. We also have the Hydra Facial, which is this machine. You guys can see that blue one right there has like a little, it looks like a Phantom of the Opera mask on it. But that's the machine that we use. Um, we put different solutions in these bins in the front, um, and it kind of travels through the cables and sucks and embeds different medications that your skin may need. Um, it sucks the pore clean. So actually in the back of the machine, there's like one bin that shows clean, clear water that flushes through. And then the other bin shows each client what comes out. And I mean, people are always amazed to see what comes out of their skin. Even people that come in that are like, I'm just doing this to relax for fun. I have great skin. At the end, they look at that and they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I should be using a detox mask once a week or yada, yada, yada. Um, so in addition to the anti-aging hydrofacial, we do express facials, classic facials, um, student facials. And one of my favorite services is our luxury spa special, which is a facial for two. And it could be like for anniversaries with a couple, it could be friends, or it could be like a mommy and me date where you come in and it does come with either sparkling juice or wine, a charcuterie board and shrimp cocktail, as well as the two massages. And they are done side by side. So I'm the SD that services you and you guys get to kind of go through this experience together. It does have some extra time booked in. So at the end, you guys can finish your drinks and your food and get all back alive before going back out into the world from all that relaxing. Wow. I hear so many things throughout this interview that set you apart from other, you know, beauty professionals, other salons and spas. So I love everything that I'm hearing. Uh, who is your target audience, though? My target audience is anybody that woke up and decided I want to love me today. Let's just be honest. Like my business is a luxury 
it's a self-care business. So in order for me to target somebody realistically, it has to be the person that wants to love on themselves or at least is on a journey to finding what that looks like for themselves. So I'm really looking for anybody that just decided like, I want things to be different in my life. I want to relax differently. I want to view myself differently. I want to view life differently. That's the type of client that I'm looking for because we have a lot of great conversations here. It's a great vibe here. And I promise whatever you're looking for, whatever piece you're trying to find, you will find it here. Oh, I love that. Y'all, self-care is so important. I feel like the guests I have on my show maybe don't talk about it enough, but as anybody navigating this difficult world that we are in, where we are all seeing and witnessing sometimes traumatizing experiences or, you know, just sadness, depression, isolation after, you know, the pandemic, just so many things we all go through. I think that we could all love on ourselves a little more, practice a little more self-care, um, spend a little bit of money, right, on a luxury service that maybe you're not used to and you're just trying it out for the first time, but you might fall in love with it and make it a regular thing. So whether it's facials with D, massages, meditation, salt baths, just like whatever it is, I feel like people need to explore more and figure out their thing. Like when I say their thing, what is going to bring you peace? What is going to bring you joy and happiness? What is going to help you clear your mind, decompress after a stressful week of work, family, entrepreneurship, whatever your thing is? So thank you for that, emphasizing that. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you don't watch a ton of TV, but you do some books, right? You read books, you listen, to, you turn an a app on and listen to books. Do you have any book recommendations for our audience? Yeah, I do. I'm going to go on here and read you guys some of the things that I've been listening to. Okay. But a lot of the books I'm listening to are more like um, self-help books or one of the books was like about a guy who never succeeded in a job and then he realized like why he never succeeded in a job and it turned out like how he thought about life and everything. He never allowed himself to even develop purpose or have desire. And so he kind of realized that through his journey, through a great mentor. And so that was kind of like the point of the book. Um, rich dad, poor dad. I know that's cliche. Everybody says that one, but that's literally, I'm not lying, the most recent one on here. Um, I like the E-Myth Revised um, and that or Revisited. Um, that was the a go-to for any entrepreneur. Like if you, it's basically a book about why small businesses fail. So you definitely need to watch that one or listen to that one. Um, the next one was called Range. Um, this one was more like a, it was more like people with disability and how they can overcome because I just like to look at like, I like perspective. So I just listen to a bunch of different things. Um, but the 12 week year was a good one. The 80, 20 principle, great one looking at it, at life that way. Um, there was one called never get a real job. And then one called No Excuses. Um, but this is, it's a really cool app, you guys. You guys should definitely check it out. It's called Headspace, or sorry, Headway. And you can literally go through, read descriptions of the books, and then you can listen to them. And what they do is like chapter recaps. So it's great for people like me who, I don't always have the time to sit down and open up a physical book and read it, but I do have travel time where I'm commuting. So it's just really nice to put it on. And listen to it in the car instead of like listening to music um, or just sitting in silence, which I do sometimes just because it's so many thoughts in my mind. I just need a moment. And this app has been really helpful with that. But self-help, it's really, it's pretty much self-help, entrepreneurship. That's kind of like the vibe of what I'm reading. I don't really read like romance novels or dramas or anything like that. That's not my vibe. So with that app, is that app free or is it a paid subscription? Well, in, in life, all good things cost. There's a little fee, <laughs> but there's a free trial. So I'm going to put you guys on a little, a little hack. So do the free trial. And then after the free trial is done, cancel it. And then they're going to ask you, hey, do you want to try for a discount? Press the X and tell me why if you press the X, an even better discount pops up. How many people paid $89.99 when they, all they had to pay was $39.99? <laughs> okay, give us a cheat code, friend. I love that. So the reason I ask is because when I do audiobooks, I normally do it through Audible. 
which has some partnership with Amazon or they might be owned by Amazon. But yeah, it's a monthly subscription that basically gives you one credit or depending on what package you do, but it gives you a credit and you can get a book. But that's essentially just like 12 books per year. So I just wonder, you know, if this was comparable to Audible. So what has been your greatest accomplishment to date? Because you've done a lot, even since the last time that we, we spoke. I'm honestly just going to bring it back to graduating college, like first generation college graduate. So that just still hits. It just hits every time I wake up, I come into my business. I'm so thankful. And it just hits every time that I had an opportunity and I completed something, you know, that my family just really, really wanted for like our blood, our bloodline even. So I'm just really happy. I'm proud of that. It's, it really does mean more to me than any than even looking at this business, because it was really that journey, it, it was harder than this. You know, I, it was a really hard journey doing something I never saw anybody that I knew really do before. So it was just, you know, it paved the way for me to do this. Another thing I'm doing that I never seen anybody do before. So it was kind of like that first step of like pushing me into life and showing me like there's nothing that can define anything for you. Like literally only God defines everything for you and he will qualify you. And that was the moment where I just, couldn't tell me nothing from that moment child i did i did what i had to do okay <laughs> okay so the next thing i want you to do is tell the viewers why they should subscribe to the currency club because we may have some people listening in who are not members of the club who meaning you have not subscribed to the channel officially i think the viewers should subscribe to the currency club just because of the variety in and of itself i mean we got real estate agents we got music moguls we got estheticians it's just really a little bit of everything it's really something for everybody is the point of what i'm trying to say i think it's a really cool angle i feel like you do get a different side of us as business professionals like we come on the podcast and we can just kick it and be ourselves with you and i just feel like it's cool to kind of see all those different phases of a person and their business and yeah of course because Whitney Styles is the host I mean that right there is enough to subscribe <laughs> period thank you friend all right so thank you for that and before you go I need you to also leave the viewers with an inspirational message what I would say as an inspirational message was actually a quote I just saw and it was it said it was from Kanye's diary but it said 365 days 365 ways and I don't know why that just like hit me like every day is a new day and really really embody that and think about it that way even bringing it back to pivoting to the social media and me finally getting the the viral post that I've always wanted just always readjust you don't have to change the dream you just may have to change how you get there I love that. I love a lot of stuff you said throughout this conversation. So thank you for being here with me and the world, sharing your time, talents, advice, uh, fun quotes, things to live by, and just really things that you found successful in your journey uh, of entrepreneurship. So thank you so much, friend. And everybody else, whoever is watching or listening, please don't hit. Don't hit. Please. <laughs> please hit. <laughs> please hit. Please hit. Please hit that subscribe <laughs> button is what I was trying to say, y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the club. And we will see y'all next week. Bye. Bye.